Hello guys, welcome to my channel Maths Pursuit. Today we are going to look into example 8 from chapter 5 called Arithmetic Progression. So let's see what exactly is given in example 8. Now coming to example 8, it is given that find the 11th term from the last term towards the first term of the AP 10, 7, 4, minus 62. Now let us see how we can solve this question. Now moving on to the solution. Uh, let us put the given AP in the below table in a reverse sequence as we need to find out the 11th term. Guys, as per the question, we need to find out the 11th term from the reverse of the sequence. So for that reason, we are just reversing the sequence. And one thing to note here is that if we reverse the sequence, we, we will get that minus 62 is our first term, that is A1. And in between, we don't know what are the terms. And then we have 4, 7, 10. So for that reason, what we will be doing, we will be considering minus 62 as the uh, first term and in between we will leave some columns blank and then we can say fourth term uh, as the nth term and uh, mm, uh, seventh term as n first term and tenth as the n second term. So guys, let us create a uh, table uh, so that we can do our calculation and naming first term to first cell second term third term fourth term we don't know and nth term we are putting uh, in the fifth cell and n first to the sixth cell and n second to the uh, term to the uh, seventh cell now putting minus 62 under first term and keeping three blanks as we don't know what could be there and putting fourth under nth term seven under n first term and ten under n second term now naming a1 to minus 62 and again leaving three blanks as we don't know what it could be there and putting a n to nth term a n 1 to n first term and a n 2 to n second term now guys we are going to find out the common difference so here uh, we will be finding the common difference from a n 2 minus a n 1 because we already the question says that it is an ap so any of the consecutive terms we can take and find the common difference so for that reason I have taken here as a n2 minus a n1 and that is equal to 10 minus 7 that is equal to 3. So we have now a1 is equal to minus 62 d is equal to 3 and we need to find a11. Now using the formula a n is equal to a1 plus n minus 1 into d. So a11 because we are going to find the 11th term for that reason I have considered a11. So a11 is equal to minus 62 plus 11 minus 1 into 3 or a11 is equal to minus 62 plus 10 into 3 or a11 is equal to minus 62 plus 30 or a11 is equal to minus 32. So minus 32 is the 11th term from the reverse side of the given number sequence. Hope guys you understood this calculation. Uh, we just reverse the um, AP so that it makes our uh, life easy while doing the calculation. So, and it you, you could easily see that how easily we find out the 11th term uh, once we reverse the AP and moved ahead with our calculation. If you still have any confusions or concerns, kindly write to me in the comment section of this video. Definitely I will get back to you once I see your comments. If you really like my videos, kindly subscribe and share among your friends. Thank you. Bye.